I come from a home of community workers. My father was a health inspector. My mother was a social worker. Me and my um, younger sisters never slept in our beds too often because our parents always brought stray children, homeless children that were trying to play somewhere. But they always said to us, you'll always have your home, but they don't know where they're going to. And uh, it breaks my heart when I watch TV and I watch all those old people and sick people and women and children running from natural disasters that to a great extent could have been avoided if the people were properly housed and uh, if uh, 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 um, people like understood nature, you know. I mean, because the warnings are always there. But I think also that all these uh, natural disasters that we're seeing now is because of our behavior, you know. Because from a spiritual side, I look at it that way, I said, we are sleeping in the bed that we made, you know. So my, my, my biggest, I have a, a, a five-year-old, a beautiful granddaughter, and when I look at her, my heart breaks because I wonder from the way we treat the world and nature, what she's gonna inherit. saw the, 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 the spill in the Gulf of Mexico, but that was because it was in America, it showed. But there are all spills all over the world that we never learn about. I mean, Nigeria has had oil spill endlessly from the time that they discovered oil there. Uh, but because it's in Africa and they don't give a damn about Africans, they just like uh, all of like, uh, you know, uh, um, Eastern Nigeria and the Delta region is it's completely polluted. Those people haven't eaten fish in decades. And they were fishermen. I'm very angry at the human race. <laughs>